And now everybody's backdooring into um, buying GLP-1s on the, on the shady market, on the dark web. And the problem with that, so Claire, here's an interesting analogy that I use <clears throat> because we've got to talk about GLP-1s. These are, in my lifetime, the best drugs that have ever come along to treat insulin resistance. And there's a lot of noise out there by evangelists who say, oh, this happens, this happens. The majority of side effects of the GLP-1s happen because doctors put patients on the GLP-1 without changing the diet that caused the problem. If you put an alcoholic on antabuse and you don't tell them to stop, to stop drinking, they're going to feel awful when they drink. The problem is not the antabuse. The problem is that they drank, but nobody tells patients not to. So GLP-1s, in my opinion, have replaced bariatric surgery for the most recalcitrant obese patients. GLP-1s are a better diabetic medication for type 2 diabetes than all the other medications combined. GLP-1s have a higher um, cardiovascular risk reduction than any cholesterol-lowering medication out 